Hi everyone, in this video we will explain how to validate plugin forum in PHP. I have already created this design, okay, plugin forum validation in PHP. So now we will write uh, PHP code for this to validate, okay. So the first thing is let's, uh, whenever we press the submit button, so we should call or we should go to the PHP script and validate that. Let's write the PHP script here on the top. The first thing is let's let's how name error is equal to empty because we have two fields here name and password and the second one will be the password these two are empty with me now let's set f as setter if the forum was submitted see we have here uh, we should assign name error submit if the forum is submitted so then it will check the forum is submitted here we will first catch the value of the username and password username is equal to and then what is the name of this field username okay let's first uh, uh, do it for the password also password username is password so now let's check it if the username was empty if username if empty username if the username was empty what it should do it will display an error under the input field okay in this area or in the, in the right side so let's write here our code a span type here we will echo our error echo name error and let's design hard style color should be read let's check it first of all okay we have this login form let's press this button and we should see the uh, this error let's set the error the name error sorry name error is equal to name is required depreciate See name is required. Submit it. Name is required. Now if the name was not empty, so now let's apply other validation on this. And now let's use um, username is equal to trim function to remove the spaces. And also let's use the HTML special character. Special char. Yeah, this function will just change the special character to the HTML entities. Like ampersand, it will change HTML entities ampersand and also written. And now let's apply a regular expression on this apple frag image. Uh, let's write our regular expression. It would be like this. Yeah, between this we will write that now um, that should contain our um, name should contain a to z and a to z and also a space comma and this function of the username so it will return true if it makes so now we will change it to the um, if not match okay if it didn't match so then it will execute this part of code so we will just enter to the name error is equal to name should contain only char and space so 
So now let's check it. Let's uh, sign a name. Okay. Login. Name should uh, contain only char and space. So space is not mandatory. So we should um, write here plus sign. It means one or more. Let's uh, write a name. See that has removed. If we enter for example number with this. See name should contain only char and spaces. We can also add a br type here. Yeah. Now it will be. See it has came here now. So it was for the username. So now let's write the validation for the password. Now we should come here. F empty if the password field was empty so then they should write name uh, password error sorry is equal to password is required we should write uh, br tag before that Uh, if post your length if the length of the password was less than or equal to with 8 we should write password error is equal to at least 8 digits let's write the archive at the front and save um, and now we will use the print match function and here we will write hash hash and here is 0 to 9 and plus sign this means at least uh, one digit oh, so we use the error At least one digit and let's pass the second parameter which is password uh, if it didn't match and same for the character copy this if it didn't match with a to z character a to z small letter at least one small char and also for uh, a to z capital to z at least one upper case so now let's check it save the file and let's come let's come here just refresh it yes Let's press this button. Name is required, uh, and also the password. If empty, password. We have the value of password. Password hash password. Let's see the input field. Okay, password. Name is password. Okay. Password error. We should write the password error here. Let's come here under the password we should write a spam tag and here we should just write something like this okay just we will change this to the password error yes let's press login name is required and password is required let's add a before this a br tag name is required and password is required so let's write first of all the name name is ok and let's write the password for example just write digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 at least one small character let's write 1 2 3 4 5 and small character 
at least one half hour character see that has removed so it was about the login forum validation and php uh, if you have liked this video so please subscribe to our youtube channel and like this video and finally thanks for watching